welcome to Alpha Militaria TV. Thanks very much for tuning in. My name is Richard Saunders. Now then, got probably the most expensive rifle on sale right now. Probably one of the most expensive rifles ever made, I'd imagine, uh, for good reason. It is the Daystate Red Wolf Heritage. It's a limited edition rifle. Only 250 of these rifles are being made worldwide. And obviously it is aimed primarily at the collector's market. Now, people seem to get, for some reason I don't really understand, people seem to get all hot, hot under the collar about the fact that Daystate puts out these premium price limited edition rifles. You know, um, because you know, their argument is that it's just a standard rifle in a pretty stock. And that's true, I guess, but if you want an exclusive rifle that's a limited run, that looks different from anything else out there, um, then you know, that's what you're paying for. Uh, and that's certainly what you're paying for with this um, this heritage version. As I say, just 250 of them made, of them made worldwide. Uh, now, I don't know whether these are going to go up or down in value at all. Uh, but for collectors, people who really, you know, collect Daystate rifles and, you know, high-end rifles generally, that probably, does, probably doesn't matter. You know, the, the attraction is in the exclusivity of the rifle. And, <clears throat> you know, live and let live as far as I'm concerned. If you want one and you're prepared to pay the premium, good for you. If you don't want to pay the premium, no one's forcing you to. Now the good news is that if you don't want to pay for a limited edition rifle, you can buy the standard Red Wolf and it has the same um, underlying mechanicals and electronic heart in it. Um, now then, before we get into the specifics of the Red Wolf um, um, heritage uh, and uh, the Red Wolf generally, I just want to run through some other stock options that you can get with the Red Wolf. So this obviously is the limited edition uh, heritage. It has this beautiful, beautiful brown and black uh, laminate stock. It's the same shape as the standard rifle stock. Um, has all the same adjustability and what have you, but it's just finished in this in this uh, exclusive colour. Um, and with this bronze finished metal work, um, very much reminds me of the, the 40th anniversary Genus rifle. Um, that Daystate put out a couple of years ago, very much in that same kind of same kind of vein. Um, now, with this rifle, you will get a, a zero dB silencer, um, finished in this bronze finish as well. You'll get a custom gun box as well, and you'll also get a certificate and the usual bits and bobs as well. Now, this particular rifle is the high powered uh, high powered version, so it has a longer 23 millimeter barrel. Uh, sorry 23 inch barrel plus a silencer and this one is uh, is a 2.2 caliber and it's pushing out 60 foot pounds believe it or not now when you have the, the high powered versions with the longer barrel uh, and the silencer are quite lengthy rifles this one is about 45 inches or 1140 millimeters so it's quite a long rifle but it is a high performance rifle but we'll get into the specifics in, in just a little while so this is another um, high-powered version. This is the uh, this is a two five fifty foot pound two five, and this has got the the walnut stock, which is a, <coughs> a beautiful piece of wood in its own right. Forgive me if you see me putting these down rather gently. And then, <coughs> excuse me, the standard rifle. Um, the standard length rifle is this one here. This is a 12 foot pound two, uh, 177. And we actually reviewed this rifle on the channel a little while ago. Uh, and this is the, uh, the Red Wolf uh, Midnight in this beautiful blue and gray um, laminate stock. And then finally, I don't have a gun to go with this one unfortunately, but finally, uh, you also you can also get this red and black stock as well. Now, when the Red Wolf first came out, um, there was a, another red stock, the Series Rosso, I believe it was called, that was a lot more red than this. Um, but this one is uh, is readily available now. So let's then talk about. Excuse me. Right, let's then talk about uh, the features on this rifle. So, it's based on the, uh, the, the, the current shipping model of the Red Wolf. So it has the, 
a second generation or Gen 2 GCU electronic brain to it. And we'll go through the, the electric, uh, the electronic features in this in a, in a little while. Um, now, Daystate have been making uh, electronic rifles for 15 years now. And you know, I often hear people saying that they're concerned about the reliability of electronics in, a, in an air rifle. Uh, you know, for you know, good reason, but you know, this is not a new thing for Daystate. They've been making it for a decade and a half, and they largely led the whole um, innovation of electronic rifles, and they've just been evolving it and evolving it and evolving it, as I say, over 15 years. The Red Wolf itself was launched um, about three years ago, and has really become one of the most respected um, and high, you know, high performance rifles. Um, it's a premium rifle. It's won many, many competitions um, you know, at you know, world level um, as well. And it, but it's also a great hunting rifle as well. And that, um, that walnut stock rifle is my own rifle that I use for hunting all the time. Now it comes as sort of two versions, if you like. There's the standard version, and then there's a high powered version. And somewhat confusingly, you can get the standard version in FAC levels as well. Um, so just to sort of go through those. So the standard rifle, you can get in 177 and 22 at 12 foot pounds. And that will give you well, about 420 shots in 177, 470 shots in 22. And then you can get a, um, a 50 foot pound 25 caliber rifle, which will give you about 40 shots uh, to an air fill. Now the FAC rifles, FAC versions of the standard rifle in 177 are uh, 20 foot pounds, gives you about 165 shots, and uh, 45 foot pounds in 0.22 gives you about 50 shots. Then you have the high power or the HP model, so the Red Wolf HP, um, which is exclusively um, FAC level rifles. And the 177 HP uh, puts out 30 foot pounds, will give you about 150 shots. Uh, the 22 is rated at 60 foot pounds, will give you 65 shots to a fill. The, uh, the 25 is rated at 65 foot pounds, will give you about 60 shots. And then the 0.3 caliber uh, is rated at uh, 80 foot pounds, and will give you about 30 shots. This model right here, right now, is the. Um, but the HP in 2.2, so this is a 60 foot pound uh, gun. And I should, I should have said before that yeah, at some point I get out to the range and I'll put this on the long range and we'll see how it shoots as well. But I wanted to do it all indoors today because I wanted to show you the other rifles as well. Now, um, in terms of um, features on the rifle, starting at the back, forgive me if I'm very, very gentle in the way I handle this, it's not mine. Um, at the back you have a three-way adjustable butt pad. So this um, uh, back part of the, of the butt pad, the curved part, will adjust up and down. Then if you remove it, you'll be able to put some, some angle um, into, the, um, into the, the butt pad as well. You've got some further adjustment on the cheek piece. By slackening off this bolt here, this cheek piece will go up and down. And the combination of that butt pad and that cheek piece gives you really good, superb um, eye alignment for a scope and eye relief for a scope as well. The, the pistol grip is um, contoured for your fingers uh, and also has uh, some very tasteful, almost like, well, it's, it's like fishtail checkering actually on both sides. And there's a, a little groove up here, which makes this rifle very comfortable to hold with a thumb up grip, or you can wrap your thumb around quite easily. And the safety catch at the back here is very accessible as well for your uh, the thumb on your trigger finger. Now, because this is an electronic rifle, um, it obviously has uh, a battery in it, and the battery is housed um, inside uh, the pistol grip down here. Let me show you that in just a second. And it lasts for thousands and thousands of shots. You know, I've had my that walnut stock rifle for probably nearly three years now, and I've probably only uh, recharged the battery two or three times. And you will get a little notification on the little electronic screen on my side of the rifle here 
when you need to uh, to recharge it. Um, in terms of because this is an electronic rifle, it will have a, a like a sleep mode if you like, um, and switching the the safety catch on and off will uh, will reactivate the gun if it goes into sleep mode. Now the side lever is just sublime. It really, really is because there's no sears to engage. There's no um, there's nothing mechanical for the side lever to operate. It's just literally turning the electronic brain to get ready to take a shot. Um, there's very little resistance to it. It's very smooth, but it's not at all vague or wishy-washy in any way. Um, <clears throat> the magazine itself um, is Daystate's new gated magazine, the one with the flap on the front. Uh, now 177, that will take 13 shots. In 2.2, it takes 11 shots. In 2.5 it takes 10, and in 0.3 caliber it will give you 8 shots. Um, and guns that are set up for right-handers um, will have the magazine uh, entering into the breech from the right-hand side. Guns that are set up for left-handers, which includes the ability to swap the cocking handle to the left-hand side, I should say, will have the magazine going in um, from the left. <clears throat> the forehand um, extends down here, it's slightly scalloped in here, and there's some more fishtail checkering um, inside the, uh, the the forend, which just comes down uh, underneath the, the bottle there, which is quite nice, finishes it off nicely. And then underneath it here, we'll show you the, this again in, in close-up later on, you've got a an electronic, uh, sorry, a magnetic cap, which fits over the, the fill valve. And this rifle, as it's regulated, electronically regulated, takes a 250 bar charge. Now the barrel itself, uh, obviously um, on this rifle is finished in this, this bronze color. Um, it's fully shrouded as well um, and is threaded to take a silencer. As I say, you get a, um, a zero dB silencer with the, with the, uh, the heritage model. And um, at 12 foot pounds, it's actually quite quiet. Um, you know, and putting a silencer on a 12 foot pound gun makes it almost silent. As you would expect for the higher powered versions of the rifle, without a silencer, there's quite a bark to it. Um, so you will want to put a silencer on it, especially if you're going to go out hunting with it. <clears throat> right, so I think that's about it. What we'll do is we'll show you some things uh, in close up um, and we'll talk about the magazine, inserting the magazine. I will also talk about those electronic features as well. Now electronics on air rifles can be a little bit intimidating, I get that. Um, but the Red Wolf, the system on the Red Wolf is actually quite straightforward and it is worth reading through the manual. And the more you use it, the more familiar you'll get with it. Now first thing to do is to wake the rifle up by switching this, the, the safety catch to make the rifle live and then switching it back again to make it safe. And you might be able to see on, on the display here that the rifle is already telling me that I'm, I've got low pressure, uh, that I need to uh, fill up with some air, and that the regulator is on currently on about 163, 164 bar. Um, and this M10 in here signifies that I've got the magazine counter on, uh, set to take uh, 10 shots in my magazine, and the shot count is on 74. That's uh, that S74 there. That uh, tells you how many shots this rifle has taken. So with the rifle um, switched on like that and safe, pull back the, the, uh, the side lever and then hold the trigger down for just a second. And then that will then cycle you through um, features like the, the magazine size so you can uh, to decide how many uh, shots you want in your magazine, whether you're running a 177 with 13 shots or a 30 cal with eight shots. Then also it'll run through a power level, uh, so you can just you can determine uh, low, medium, and high power. Um, it will also enable you to uh, determine how long you want that sleep mode to be activated for, how long you, you want the, uh, the the display to be on as well. Uh, and also you can reset the uh, the shot count. Now let's go into let's go into the power level. Get a little bit closer for this, I hope. Mm. 
I'm just going as close as I can get. Right. Let's go into the uh, the power mode then, and I can show you how to reset the power. Right, so on power level, currently I'm on high power. Just touch the trigger, that takes you down to mid power. Touch it again, takes you down to low power. Brings you back up again to high power. And that sort of um, touching of the trigger, once you get onto the sub menu that you want, takes you through all the other um, settings for the, the sleep timer, the display timer as well. Um, and it really is as simple as that. As I said before, the, the battery on the Red Wolf is housed in this compartment in the pistol grip down here. And every you know, thousands of shots that go by, you will need to recharge the battery. And you get a little charging kit, um, comes with the rifle. To access it, you need to take a, um, a screwdriver or some other pokey device. And I can't tell you how nervous I am doing this around someone else's 3,000 pound gun, but it's gotta be done then just ease open that cap and that will reveal the battery underneath just ease that out and then hopefully you can see just down here there's a little connector that white bit there just break that connector make sure that you hold the plastic block itself rather than the wires when you pull it apart and then as part of your kit you get a, a recharging pack very easy to use, just pop that in the recharger, pop it in the mains and charge the battery up. Then obviously reconnect it, put the battery back in and close the cap again. Well, like several other components on the uh, on the Red Wolf, the, uh, the trigger is electronic and is a little bit different to a mechanical trigger because you are effectively, well, you're operating electronics rather than sears and springs and what have you. Uh, but it is a, a lovely trigger, very, very precise and crisp. Uh, two stages and it's fully adjustable. And those um, those holes that you see at the top of the trigger blade there, the post and shoe trigger blade, um, those are accessed via the holes in the trigger guard to make adjustments to the trigger for weight and travel. Um, and really, honestly, the best thing to do is to refer to the, the manual for, for which hole does which. Uh, but yeah, a, a really good trigger on the Red Wolf. The magazine on the Red Wolf Heritage is the same as on all the other Red Wolves and in actual fact is the same across all other day state rifles that are shipping right now. Uh, it's a self-indexing magazine and to fill it you've got to first pull back this little flap on the front here it's magnetized and then rotate the inner drum round as far as it will go clockwise and put a pellet in the the bottommost hole like that and then once you've done that that will hold that drum in place and you can put pellets in all the other um on all the other chambers now sometimes they kind of fall all the way down into the chamber like that one there sometimes they kind of hang around at the top doesn't really matter to be perfectly honest um so you get 13 shots in 177 11 in 22 10 in 2.5 and 8 in uh, 30 caliber. Now once you've filled up all of your chambers, make sure you shut the gate to lock all the pellets in because if you don't, then they will just fall out again. 
Removing the magazine is, it couldn't be any simpler to be perfectly honest. Um, all you do is you simply pull back the side lever. There's no second stage to the side lever um, because you're effectively switching on an electronic system as opposed to ratcheting up springs and cogs and nuts and bolts and what have you on a mechanical system. But once it's pulled back, the magazine just pushes out from the left and comes out the right side on right-hand configure rifles. As I said before, on left-handed rifles, the magazine is the other way around. It comes out of the left. Then once you've filled it up with pellets and this one is empty, just simply locate it from the right again, just push it in. Magnets uh, take over and kind of draw the magazine into the breech. Then obviously close your side lever and make the rifle safe until you're ready to shoot. The process for filling up the Red Wolf with, uh, with air is the same as many other day state rifles. On the underside of the, uh, the forend, you'll see this black plastic cap. Um, simply pull that off, it's held on with magnets. Put that somewhere safe. Then take your air line, there's no probes or anything, just a foster fit um, connection will snap directly onto the fill valve. And then the rifle takes a 250 bar fill. Bars. Well, my tank hasn't quite got 250 bar in it. Bleed off that fill line, remove the line. Don't forget to put your cap back on again. And then on the electronic screen, you can see that it will give you your new um, fill pressure uh, up here. So that's a not so quick rundown on the Daystate Red Wolf Heritage. Really is a beautiful looking uh, rifle. But uh, next stage is to take it down the range and see if it shoots as good as it looks. I'm down at Reading Air Target Shooting Club. The club has just recently reopened after the lockdown measures have eased a little bit. I've got the Red Wolf Heritage with me, so let's see if it shoots as good as it looks. Right, let's go and see how it grouped. Right, let's have a look. Now I think I said before that I was shooting that at 50 meters. It's actually 55 meters, which is the long range shot at Reading Air Target Shooting Club. That's not bad. That's, uh... right, we're on the target, there we go. That's a group of about half an inch. There's 10 pellets through there and one went a little bit high um, through the bullseye and I actually gave a bit of hold over for this because I realized that obviously the um, the scope needs to be adjusted to come up a little bit um, so yeah but in terms of grouping that's spot on and that was with 
these uh, Rangemaster uh, King pellets, 25.38 grains. Well, there you go. That is the Day State Red Wolf Heritage. Uh, 250 uh, rifles available worldwide. Retails between £2,749 for the 12 foot pound rifle and £2,999 for the FAC rifle. And this is the FAC, this is the 60 foot pound 2.2 rifle. Anyway, I hope you found that interesting. Um, if you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel as well, where you'll find a whole bunch of information on a range of air gunning topics, including the Day State range. So till next time, thanks for watching.